Hello, you guys. Welcome. Uh, today we're going to do an interview. We're going to interview Catherine um, Pineda on how vulnerability became her superpower. And I will um, progressively invite her. There she is. Um, okay, so if you can, um, Catherine, request to join. There you are. I was on Instagram, but hopefully I'll come back. Yay, there you are. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm seeing you so much better there. All right, so let me go live <laughs> everywhere. And um, is your sound off on Zoom? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So it's off on my side too. So everything will be working. Great, where are you calling us from? So I actually live in California. Um, I live in LA County, so oh great, yeah. So we're not too far. No, <laughs> great. We're kind of neighbors. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, and then uh, live on Facebook for some reason has jinxed, but um, we're still gonna be on Zoom, so that's okay. Um, so um, Catherine, let's talk a little bit about you as an actress. When did you start acting? Um, oh man, it's uh. It's been kind of on and off. So I would say I started in high school. I took my first mm -hmm. acting class in high school, mm -hmm. which was supposed to be for fun. And, uh -huh. and I loved it. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's and then I went to college. And I actually did not pursue uh, theater. A okay. theater degree. I actually pursued psychology. Mm -hmm. um, but during um, so useful. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I, I love psychology, just learning yeah. about people. I think it's all mm -hmm. in line anyways. Yeah. And um, I still took theater classes while I was in college. Mm -hmm. So I did that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then after I graduated uh, with my degree, that's when I like fully pursued the um, mm -hmm. film industry mm -hmm. and, and just went for it. <laughs> it's been oh, a great. dream of mine since I was a kid. Yeah. And it, it was just something that was always there. Mm -hmm. But I, I never like fully allowed myself to go into it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So many people, uh, it happens that way. Um, so um, after studying psychology, did you do some workshops and things like that? Did you study with some coaches or you went straight to work as an actress? I, I took some classes mm -hmm. in LA. Actually, I did a um, mm -hmm. script class. I did a commercial class just mm -hmm. to like get my feet wet. Mm -hmm. And um, just see what it was like, because mm -hmm. for me, it was one of those things where, because I didn't really like dive deep into it in undergrad when I was getting my college degree, it was more like, let's just see what this feels like. Yeah. And I just, and I did it and mm -hmm. learned a lot mm -hmm. about the industry for sure. Yeah. And just what it, what it really takes to, yeah. to pursue this line of work. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so you started acting and how was that? How was your experience of acting uh, at that moment before you did this work that we did together? It was, it was a mixture of different things. It was like exciting because you get to go mm -hmm. meet new people and mm -hmm. learn, you know, the craft and yeah. learn how, what it's like to be on set. And that, mm -hmm. that energy of that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, something though that I did, feel a lot when I was pursuing acting was I had a lot of fear. I had a lot of mm -hmm. fear about who, how to present myself. Um, yeah. That was, that was a really big thing. And around that time, I was still trying to figure out who I was and mm -hmm. I wasn't fully disconnected. I wasn't fully getting tongue tied here. <laughs> I wasn't fully connected to who I am like inside, mm -hmm. but I knew in mm -hmm. my heart that I wanted to pursue acting. Like it was there. Mm -hmm. It was just yeah. more like, but I felt like I was constantly trying to go after what my heart wanted, mm -hmm. but I also felt blocked at the same time. Like I And so blocked. as, as someone who has studied psychology, that's really mm -hmm. interesting. How did you interpret and um, look at that fear that was coming up? I attributed it to really my cultural upbringing mm -hmm. and just how growing up for me, expressing emotions and just expressing myself wasn't really encouraged. Mm -hmm. So a lot of 
that was suppressed. Mm -hmm. And that's probably one of the reasons why I went into psychology. Yeah. Was just I wanted to understand myself, but also yeah. just people and why mm -hmm. people do what, what they do and yeah. wanting to feel a connection with, with, hum with other people, with myself. Yeah and understand my family and it was really about understanding human behavior and humanity mm -hmm. that's really yeah. what drew me to psychology so yeah. yeah 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 and so um so it's interesting what you say that it was your cultural upbringing on my side since i see all different types of culture um uh, people coming from different cultures doing this work I can tell you that it's across the board, right? That we've never been encouraged to express our emotions in any culture, actually. Um, so more so some cultures than others, but still um, when I do some polls and things like that, and I ask um, people like no one's ever been encouraged to feel. Yeah, you're encouraged to feel in your room and close the door um, <laughs> in shame, or you're encouraged to feel when you're watching a show or a movie or you know, when you're watching something else that's entertainment, that's not real life. But if not, no one's really encouraged to feel. Yeah, so that's, that's, I, that's um, the, the result of that is you're acting, it's your heart's choice, you've always wanted it, and then you feel blocks and you feel fears. And most people who move into, um, yeah, move into this job, whether they're working a lot already as actors or not, are feeling that, um, that fear. And it's actually the reason why I started to shift from acting a very long time ago, 20 years ago, to designing this because I had also studied a lot of psychology and in university. And I was really perplexed about, you know, that thing where people were so passionate about acting. And yet uh, most actors that I met, including myself, had so much fear inside of them. And it was really, really interesting to me to have that gap between the passion and then the fear. Mm -hmm. um, great. And so you work, you have the fear, you do some workshops, etc. So is that, is the fear that you were feeling in the blocks, is that the reason why you decided to do the work we did together, meaning to reset yourself? Is that why you decided? Or was it another event that made you decide to reset yourself? I'd say um, different reasons. So this past year, I've spent a lot of time healing my health mm -hmm. and wanting to, because I, I left um, my my job back in December, mm -hmm. um, pretty much because I, I burnt out. And mm -hmm. I, I realized even at that job that I was giving so much of myself to this mm -hmm. job where it was great because I was working with students, but mm -hmm. I felt like I wasn't, like I wasn't happy, I wasn't being fully, I wasn't able to fully be myself. Yeah. Because it was a job that required me to follow like a very strict mm -hmm. structure. So mm -hmm. I felt really more than anything restricted and not being mm -hmm. able to be my true authentic self. And that's been mm -hmm. kind of just an ongoing pattern mm -hmm. with other scenarios in my life. Mm -hmm. So really mm -hmm. ultimately what I wanted to aim for in mm -hmm. doing the work that we've done together is to just come back home to my true mm -hmm. authentic self. I've realized yeah. I've done, I've done work, you know, relationships, just, I haven't been able to be fully myself because of that mm -hmm. fear, because I was trying to be perfect. I was trying to please everyone. And mm -hmm. I'm the oldest child, the oldest daughter. Yeah. So there's that cultural expectation of always worrying, taking care mm -hmm. of everybody else that mm -hmm. I realized like my true happiness lies in being able to be my true self. But it was yeah. like, well, how do I come back home? How yeah. do I you know how do I reconnect with my inner child who I've suppressed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that was really what drew me to doing mm -hmm. this work was just I wanted to just come home as close mm -hmm. as possible to yeah. to who I really am because I realized mm -hmm. like there's really no one else I'd rather be in like why have I why would you be so anyone hard? else yeah <laughs> yeah like I've tried so hard to yeah. fit in so many boxes and I've never truly fit in any box I always no. stood out I'm I, I, I'm learning now to just embrace mm -hmm. being different because I am different. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, just from we life, all are. yeah, you know, just <laughs> when mm -hmm. people meet me and how I perceive the world and just what comes out naturally, you know, from mm -hmm. my heart, it just is such a different perspective. And, yeah. um, I mean, even just, I know when I enter a room, you know, I, I know I look different. I just bring mm -hmm. such uniqueness and I'm learning mm -hmm. to just own it. And mm -hmm. I found that the more I've done that and uh, I've done the work of 
healing myself and my blocks just mm -hmm. in general it was more across mm -hmm. the board than it was mm -hmm. just for acting it was really more of a personal journey yes and it it was like if acting was still there mm -hmm. then i would go back to it which is essentially what happened but that is mm -hmm. not really like the main reason yeah for me mm -hmm. it was about coming home to myself mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. i'm very grateful to be in this space now because i feel lighter and i feel yeah like, like my inner child's free and my inner child's like you know here again mm -hmm. and it, it feels mm -hmm. good to just be home that so. sounds wonderful yeah. yeah yeah and there's a lot of people who are you know most people who are resetting themselves doing this work are doing it for acting reasons but as they're in it they're realizing exactly what you're saying which is that oh wait this is not about acting it's about not acting and therefore it's about me it's about being myself because what else is there to experience than myself anything else that you would try to experience is 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 absurd and delusional it's like a giraffe wanting to be an elephant why would yeah. you do that does it work right you're you're, you're <laughs> giraffe just enjoy being a giraffe and um and because of the way we're conditioned because of the way we're asked to behave like others and to think like others and to feel like others and to walk like others and to talk like others and to look like others that's how we're raised right in our culture um well we have a tendency to not want to be with ourselves because we're not good enough we're not um yeah we're not out in our inner child has been told not to feel for as long as we can remember and to feel what others would like to feel so yeah it's a very important journey of coming back home and most people who do it will say that of course it impacts their acting but that's that's such a in a way that's such a peripheral outcome compared to the fact that you find yourself back yeah. and and that's you know the objective of your life is first and foremost to be able to be yourself uh Acting will be a consequence. You'll get so much more work, of course, because you're yourself. You're not pretending to be someone else. So people can see you. If they can see you, they can connect. If they can connect, you can touch them. So the logic um, works. But yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. You, you did it for yourself and you found yourself. And, and now you could do acting. You could do anything you want. You'll, you'll show up for it. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. something I've come to really like just realizes the the work of being an actor or just any any job or like anything really it's really yeah. like it's who you are yeah like, your intentions how you choose to show up everything that you are mm -hmm. is exactly what you bring to your craft yeah. whatever it is it doesn't even have to be acting it's as an artist mm -hmm. as a human being the interactions we have with one another mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. just how are you choosing to show up and, and it's like what is important to you and yeah. these are just things that have come up for me and I've always been a seeker you know mm -hmm. truth and, and learning of, you know in life and I've always I've always just I really love reading you know like self-help self-care books I'm yeah. always trying to improve and um, really just come back it was I think it was always a journey of coming back home to myself always like mm -hmm. healing blocks that kept me from being me mm -hmm. and something in, in this work that I've done that I've always kind of known but I didn't realize it until I did the work was it was hard for me to be vulnerable in yeah. front of other people just mm -hmm. in general and I know of mm -hmm. course as an actor that's that is the job but yeah it's like I realized that it is much easier of course to just kind of be in your room feel your feelings by yourself but it mm -hmm. does take a lot more strength to to show other people like, yeah your vulnerability to share, mm -hmm, yeah. to share it and ask for help and mm -hmm. you know admit like to yourself like see yourself and be like okay I'm not okay and mm -hmm. what do I what do I do to to take care of myself do mm -hmm. I reach out do I what do I do and mm -hmm. and then there's also this willingness I think mm -hmm. has to come from within to want to help yourself mm -hmm and take care of yourself because you. You no know, one else yeah. is going to do it for you. And no, and people could try, but it'll be like filling, you know, a basket with holes. You have to fill your own cup before you can add from others. Um, if you're not filling your own cup, if you're not there, people can, you know, throw every compliment at you. You're not there to receive it. And you don't have the blueprint to be able to receive it because you've never even received it from yourself. So even if people would try and pour love into you, you wouldn't be able to be with it because you, you never have, right? So, yeah. 
love Wonderful. yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to love yourself first. And that's, I think, the most important thing more than anything is, mm -hmm. is working on that self-love. And, yeah. of course, not in a vain way. I'm saying, like, loving you as you are, as mm -hmm. you were made by God. Mm -hmm. or you know, Yeah. And just embracing that because it's like you're mm -hmm. made that way for a reason. The gifts yeah. you have, you're supposed to use them. Yeah. And there are things that you do naturally that I'm finding that I'm like, oh, like, mm -hmm. okay. Like, I'm just naturally mm -hmm. good at doing certain things because that's mm -hmm. how it was meant to be yeah. for me. And totally. to embrace that. And, mm -hmm. and I feel like for me, if I hadn't worked on just truly loving myself and giving myself the space and the grace, you know, when, when it when it gets challenging and hard, you know, I, I, I don't think I would have found the courage to even step in and, and do the work mm -hmm. yeah. that we've done. And so that's really what it stemmed from for me was like, especially when it got challenging for me, just in, in general, but um, it's knowing like I have that love for myself and I'm willing mm -hmm. to fight for myself essentially mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and like get myself back, what, whatever that was yeah. gonna look like. Yeah. Um, I, I found that value within myself. And yeah. you know that that's what I bring to the world is mm -hmm. is that love I have inside. So. Mm -hmm. so if you would say for people who don't know what the reset journey is, and so they haven't done this work, they're actors and they may be, you know, struggling with doubts and blocks and fears like most actors do. And they're considering, you know, maybe doing this or a traditional acting class what would you say um, in a word maybe or one sentence how was your experience before resetting yourself and after the reset the word that comes to me is freedom because after yeah, definitely after it's freedom before it felt restriction so it's restriction, restriction. to freedom mm -hmm. and for me personally restriction in that I couldn't fully be myself mm -hmm. and and just freely express and and be okay if maybe somebody didn't like how I was mm -hmm. performing yeah. you know and it was like more about because for me what became more important was to express myself so I was willing to go in and dive into the work mm -hmm. and that's free because mm -hmm. it's not about trying to be perfect because no. that's not a real thing. And, no. um, and, and you are, you are you. perfect as you are. Yeah. Yeah. Just being mm -hmm. you. And there's that freedom that comes when you just own who you are mm -hmm. and love yourself mm -hmm. and be willing to put yourself out there. And that can mm -hmm. be scary, but at the same time, it's super healing mm -hmm. for, for the soul to, mm -hmm. to give yourself permission to experience mm -hmm. that freedom. Yeah. And not worry so much about putting yourself in the box because then you don't have to. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, Catherine. Is there anything you would like to share with the community? I'm just really happy to be here and be mm -hmm. in this space. And I just for anyone who's feeling, you know, like feeling like you're disconnected from yourself in some mm -hmm. way, that there is hope. And that there is a way back to yourself. Yeah, and, always. And it's like, it's just taking that first step, mm -hmm. whatever that looks like. Mm -hmm. And and knowing and, and telling yourself more than anything that you're worth it and that you're enough, that you are worth the effort. Mm -hmm. Anything you do to take care of yourself, to come back home, to come back to your heart, yeah. it's so worth it. Yeah. And to be able to show up in life every day and just feel lighter, feel happier, mm -hmm. feel, you know, feel good mm -hmm. to be alive. Mm -hmm. So to just keep going. Great, great. Well, thank you for the, for the bucket of hope for those out there <laughs> that are lacking clarity right now and lacking that connection. And um, thank you for your truth and for, for, for daring to be vulnerable, for making that your superpower, for coming back home and for being yourself. Thank you for thank you. part of this journey. Yeah, thank you, Catherine. All right. Um, I just want to remind everyone that we are currently working on a new training. And so in the link in the bio and in the comments, in the about section, you'll find a poll that you can take where we're 
really wanting to understand your needs in your acting career and your goals. And it's a couple minutes, the poll, and you get a big voucher to work with us. So if you're interested in sharing, uh, you know, where you're at and where you want to be in your acting career, please take the poll. It will really inform us on where you're at and how we can best, um, you know, adjust our offering for you. So thank you so much, Catherine. Yes, thank you. I'll see you around. Bye. Oh, I can't close it. All right. Bye. <laughs> bye.